All right, well, Coach, you've had a, a day or so to kind of come back down to earth a little bit, but uh, is this team getting ready now to go for another challenge? Yeah, you know, we've got um, you know we've got a work cut out for us with Stanford. I think this time of year, regardless of who you play, you're going to catch you know a really good team that's hot. And uh, you know, for us, we have to sort of come back down out of the clouds a little bit. There's just so much. You know, hype media and the talk around you. Really, I'm just really excited to get a hold of them again. And I think that's a big part of sort of what we need to do. We need to get back to work and just kind of be who we've been. And uh, we'll prepare to go to Memphis and you know play to win. Are you trying to keep it as normal as possible? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it's impossible to try to you know block the outside. But why why should we recreate anything that doesn't need to be there? What we've done so far has worked. And, they're in a good way. I know that we'll be excited and um, you know and all that, but you know at the end of the day, what's made us sort of get here or made us kind of the team that we are right now has been our approach, and I don't want to change that. You're getting away from that for a second to the, to the contract extension. Uh, you have to be really happy with that. I'm I'm very happy here. Um, very happy to be at a place that gave me a chance. You know, 32 years old with no wins or losses, uh, a little blind faith in, in in what we talked about to be here right now. Um, is sort of the trust that Dr. Kern and, and Tim, um, you know, have. And uh, you know, I'm very happy. Our staff loves it here. Um, it's a great place to be the coach. It's a great place to work. Uh, the community is um, unlike any I've been in. So I'm really excited. Why was February the right time for you to put pen to paper on this deal? Well, we talked a long time about it. I and mean, the fact that the deal uh, was verbalized today, you know, with all the media out there and names getting thrown out. A lot of it's nonsense and, you know, our recruits, et cetera. It's just good to make sure everybody knows that this is the place and this is the time and right now. But uh, the deal didn't just get talked about 24 you know, hours ago and, hey, we just signed it. It's been a long process. And like I said, I'm very, very fortunate to work with the people that I work with. I asked Tim this. I'll ask you, too. Why was today the right time to go public with it? Well, I just think, you know, now uh, with all of the media and what's going on, I think it's good that everybody understands how solid things are here. You've watched back-to-back uh, -back games, opponents with a chance to beat you at the buzzer, and they, and they didn't. Uh, Feels good. Yeah, I mean, I, you go in now to this week. Does that help you a little bit? I think so. I, I, you know, I think a big part of us going in the, into uh, this next game is feedback from what we did well in the first two games in Buffalo. Very few teams walked into uh, the pressure cooker that we did playing Ohio State with the in-state media buzz. Um, you know, playing Syracuse in Buffalo, you know, we were able to really battle and we were able to really fight and uh, to be able to come up on top in both of those games. That alone should give us confidence as we move into the next one that what we're doing is working. And, uh, you know, could have went either way, but um, you know, I think right now as, as, as we watch ourselves, can we find another gear? Can we find another way to improve? Can we do something different on Thursday that gives us a chance? If this team didn't show up last week, happy to be here. That was something I think that, that everybody noticed pretty quickly. Yeah, very quickly on. And I think a lot of it is the uh, maturity. I think a lot of it is our togetherness and camaraderie. Uh, all this is nice, but no one's really been here before. So, um, you know, you're in uncharted charted water. So the one thing that we do, and we've done it really well, is today's practice is really important. And, you know, the mindset. We're not going to tolerate any of the uh, sort of fat and happy and, and any of that. The, the reason we're enjoying this is because of the mentality that we've we've had. And I, as you go into Memphis, it needs to get sharper. You need to lock down a little bit more. You gotta you gotta fight for, so to speak, um, no distractions. And uh, that that's the challenge. What does this do for you recruiting? I mean, as you're going out now talking to kids after doing winning these two games, what's it, it's a difference, right? It's credibility. And then at the end of the day, you're selling, you're selling a program, you're selling what your vision is, you're selling all the good stuff that you talked about, and now there's, uh, so to speak, there's evidence. And uh, we'll continue to do what we do. We'll continue to try to build and do things better than we've ever done it. And, you know, obviously recruiting is the lifeline, and now, you know, not that it gets easier, but uh, you can sort of sell yourself in a different way. And the fact is that we have a little evidence that what we do works. Your thoughts on your brother Sean out there in Arizona making this week 16 too? Have you talked to him since? Uh, I talked to him late last night, just a little bit after his win. You know, they were the late game on the West Coast, but uh, you know, happy, happy for him. Um, you know, pulling for those guys, obviously, to get to the Final Four. We're trying to win a national championship, and uh, you know, to be there on day one to watch where they're at, it's good. It's also to be here to watch us where we're at. A lot of what we do started there, so. Um, you know, sort of our blueprint on what we have. You know, 
tweaks with personnel or whatnot. But I'm really excited to watch um, sort of the 365 day approach that we have work. Did you talk to him about Stanford? He's played them twice. No, nah, he's not going to get into Stanford with me, and uh, I haven't talked a whole lot about. I haven't had a chance to talk to anybody, sort of, but you guys. Yeah, it <laughs> seems to be uh, all I do right now. Everyone that I don't want to talk to, unfortunately. For you. Did you see that Obama <laughs> tweeted about you guys? Uh, yeah, I heard briefly about it. I think it's cool. Um, Devin obviously had an opportunity in high school to make a connect, and uh, any time that uh, President Obama would recognize anyone um, that you're associated with, I think that's really cool. What did you think about the reception you guys got when you returned to campus? Well, I was a little bit worried that they were going to tip the bus over. <laughs> and seeing, seeing some of the photos and some of the action before we landed, it was overwhelming. But I'm happy for our fans and really happy for our students to, to see everything. I mean, this is what it's about. This is what, um, you know, in my opinion, a proud tradition deserves. But uh, when we got back, it was it, it's good. Uh, it's really fun for the players more so than anything. Would you have crowd served like Dr. Curran if you had a chance? They had dropped me. They had dropped me. <laughs> Can you talk about the fan support that you felt in Buffalo? Yeah, yeah. We were, we were swarmed there uh, in game two. Uh, game one, our fans didn't take a back seat to anybody in there. They never do. And when they show up, it's incredible uh, how they present themselves on telecast and TV. Wherever we go, the, the first thing everyone talks about is our fans. So our players enjoyed it. It was good. And then, obviously, even during the Syracuse game, it was a different type of a feel in there with the Syracuse crowd. But I thought our fans, especially late in the game, you could really feel them. Thank you.